Good afternoon, and welcome to Flannel Hill Farm. Uh, I've been up to a lot. Also, just getting over, I don't know if it was allergies or a cold, or I don't know what it was, but just getting over that now, so bear with me a little bit. Um, we have one little asparagus came up. So, I don't know if the rest of them are just a little behind, or, there's another one, hold on, hold on, I think I just found another one, look at this, there's another little asparagus, so we got two, so maybe the rest of them are just a little behind, I don't know, but, oh, there's two more right here, so, yeah, we're getting asparagus, I'm excited, that's awesome. Um, our onions are looking fantastic. So this row here is onions. And as you can see, it is very populated. I'm excited about that. Um, I just planted... <sighs> These dogs are really going to start to irritate me. But I just planted some Brussels sprouts, cauliflower, broccoli, um collards, all those things. Dogs have been in here. I'm gonna beat them. Um, and then we have jalapenos, tomatoes, uh, bell peppers. So we're doing good. We are doing good. So yeah. So we got some stuff in, some stuff that I was okay putting in is in. Um, we got some more bushes I'm putting in. Also gonna show you guys, before we go down there, I'm just gonna show you guys these new staples I got. They're landscape staples or garden staples, whatever you wanna call them. Um, I got some slick ones. I really like these. So, the staples that I've had have been these guys, and these are just your generic 11, I think they're 11 gauge. Six inch 11 gauge little landscape staples. But, I found this place called sand baggy and these are eight gauge six inch staples they are monsters i am a huge fan look at that look at that there let me put you down i'll show you the difference look at the difference between those two that's crazy so much bigger. So, I'm super happy with that. That's sand baggy, and they have quite a few different um, sizes and gauges and galvanized and non-galvanized, all kinds of stuff. So, just look at it. They're made in the USA. They're a pretty good company. So, I would check them out. Um, so that's about it in the garden area so far. Haven't gotten much into it yet because our last frost date is supposed to be the middle of April, and it is not the middle of April. I'm a little apprehensive about putting a bunch of seeds out and then having to get cold. We got chickens! 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 Every time I'm out here, one of them is always in the coop, so it always only looks like we have five. And I freak out for a little bit. But I just moved their yard the other the other day, so they're having a good time. Hi Rito! He got fixed. He's doing pretty good. Kona is now healed from her fixing. Um, 
Yeah, she's doing fantastic. Right, Creed? So, down here, we've gotten a lot done. Um, put down some weed cloth. I gotta finish that. Um, we got some raspberries looking pretty good. We got some more raspberries I gotta put in. Uh, fig trees. They're looking a little rough, but that's because they were dormant when we got them. I think it's just taking a while. We had, you know, some warm and then some cold. So I don't know if they've ever really come out of their dormancy yet. Um, gooseberries. Some of them are looking really, really good. Some of them not so much. Apple trees are looking fantastic. These apple trees are actually making me feel very good about what we're doing. So, more blueberries are going to be going in. Apple tree. This one looks so pretty. And then this one is one from uh, Stark Brothers. This one came in dormant. It's starting to get a couple little buds on it. So that's a good sign. And then all the way down at the other end, we have blackberries and pears. So a chicken yard steak. Find these all over the place, all the time. Hi, Rito. Hello, big fella. He's a big guy. He is now at the withers measuring 26-ish inches. So he is very tall. Very tall, which is cool. I don't have to bend over and pet him. Pear trees. These were dormant again, so they're budding. They're coming up. Uh, blackberries are looking fantastic. Those. Those are looking beautiful. Another pear tree coming in with some buds. More blackberries. And I guess we actually have all of the pear trees that are going to go in down here in. So this is another one. We got Bartlett's and Moon Glows down here. But that is all that we're doing in here because of the gate. So we have a little bit of a gap between the gate and the last tree. And we'll put no bushes or anything in between that tree and this gate. Come on, Creed! Come on, buddy! Creed, come! Come on, buddy! is that so we're doing it uh, I think mowing this will be the I think big case of the third time we've mowed this year already so it's been a little wet though it should generally speaking since we've moved here it has slowed down in June and July on the rain so we'll see if that happens again this year um, hopefully it stays moist enough that we don't have a hay problem again. Ranchers could really use a break when it comes to hay. So that's what we've been doing, doing a little bit of work on the house, trying to get the outside buttoned up. Um, so we're dealing with our F and J. And then after we deal with that, we can put the soffit in and we can put the fascia board up and that'll be done. So lots of work, lots of little odd jobs, just doing what I can when I can. But everybody's doing good. Dog's doing good. Benny's in the house taking a nap. 
that's what I should be doing, is taking a nap. But it's all good. Got a huge influx of eggs. So many eggs. These chickens are laying more eggs than I thought they would. You know, the general rule of thumb is half, half your number of chickens every day because they lay every other day. Well, I'm getting, just this morning I pulled out seven eggs and I have six chickens, so I don't know if I have a chicken coming in, laying an egg and taking off before I get up or what. I don't know what's happening, but we'll take it. I just wish I knew what it was. That's what's up. That's what we're doing. Hopefully you guys are starting to look at doing something with the garden, figuring out what you're gonna do when it comes to your critters, getting new critters, Dogs are loving this weather. Kona's figuring out the finding shade thing. All right. Well, on your way back down the hill, if you wouldn't mind liking, sharing, subscribing, hitting that little bell notification button thing down there. And please remember, we appreciate y'all.